Welcome everyone. Today we have a very special guide video on the end game of Zenith Zone Zero with the same new defense and also the hundred percent clear. So looking behind me, we'll be learning from Chinese content creators who actually push for the end game and also hundred percent clear there with S rank for all the tiers up to tier seventeen. And we're looking to the team comps, the composition, the combination, the skill rotations, and also how you can be clearing higher content using those set of tips and also advices and also special assists and also combos. Now I have also prepared a list of character builds and also different weapons, artifact choices, or disc choices you can be following for different characters and also different lineups. So let's get into the video and let's see what's happening. Now we're learning this video from Yuan Shen Yi Wu Yuan coming from the Chinese Bilibili. The content creator who supposedly is the server first to clear the content on day 5 on the 8th of July. And this is his team comp. So this is a short six minute video, which we'll go through on the second part of the video. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, he was fighting level 70 monsters with this particular lineup. So let's briefly summarize what is happening in the video. So you guys have a better sense of understanding of the characters, the team build, and also the combinations. The first team he's using is going to be an ice team with Ellen, Lycan, and Sosokaku, together with Sharkpo as the ice pet. The second team he's using is going to be Grace, Reina, Kodia with a butler pet. Now those characters are currently level 40, 40 and also level 50 for the main characters Grace and also Ellen. So keep that in mind. Like he cleared this after level 40 and he probably wailed a little bit with the refills. So here are some of the screenshots of those clears and also getting all the S rank. But the major focus as we go through the replays is how did he do this. There are a few things I'll highlight with you guys. So firstly, for the first team count, he will start with Ellen with dashing. As he dashes around and dealing good AoE damage, he will then use his EX ability to do additional AoE damage. During this time, he will be dashing and also switching between different characters for the perfect counter. Now one of the highlights is going to be the special assist, the order of assist. Upon triggering the special assist with Ellen, he will start with Lycan, followed by Sokaku, and then followed by Shark and also Ellen to finish with the highest damage. And of course, he will be casting his ultimate with Ellen to deal additional AoE damage. So let's have a look at the first part of the video, and I'll go through this one step by step with you guys. Then we go on to the second fight. Now, it is important for us to learn the compositions, the team, and also characters, and also how players will play this accordingly. So right away you can see he's charging in with Ellen, and this allows him to get this flash charges with his ice attack. He's focusing on the range enemies and using his special EX ability to do AoE damage. Of course, he's used leaving the elite to the last, and now he's gonna start dodging and then switching between characters like Lycan. Lycan will help him stagger or pretty much stun the boss so he can stack up the meter for special assist. During this time, he's continuously switching in and out between characters to soak up damage for him, and it's very important to notice this. Upon getting special assist, you can see the order. Always start with Lycan first, then Sokaku, and then follow up with Alan. Now the Ice team is by far the strongest team he has because of the limited bandit character, and you're gonna see the first fight is gonna be super fast. And most of the time you can see he will stay on Alan for the majority of the time. And when the enemy is stunned, you know, he deals the most damage, right? Now as the enemy summons additional units, you'll repeat the same process. You'll be dashing around, you'll be dealing additional damage, and then try to focus and also A them down. Dashing and also perfect countering is gonna be advised during this section. And as you can see, Alan actually does a lot of damage. So the first fight is actually relatively easy. And whenever you can, you can be casting Alan's special ultimate onto the boss. And this should finish the boss off. There you go. Because Island is going to be a pure ice team, having Lycan and also Sokaku will enable her to do more ice damage. Sokaku at higher copies will lower the enemy's ice resistance. And I think that is pretty much for the first section of the fight. You can see that the team is extremely powerful in the variety of damage. And as long as you learn to perfect counter, you should have no problem on the first part. I think, there we go, that was the first fight. Now briefly summarizing what's happening on the second fight, you're going to see him running in with Reyna, then quickly casting multiple abilities with Reyna, with Grace, and also with Kodia. 
Kalida. I can always get her name right. So he will be spamming those abilities because he start off with energy, and this will allow him to do initial damage, which should then trigger small anomaly damage. As he runs out of energy, he will be using Grace as the main attacking character, basic attacking, dash attack, and also dodging attacks. During this time, he will switch in between Reina and also Kalida to take damage. So the goal is to switch between characters for additional hits and also to avoid damage onto Grace. Now, because he's gaining a lot of energy with the support of Reina and also with the additional characters, he's always casting the ultimate with Grace whenever there's multiple targets. And then he will try to trigger assist with Kolita as she's a stunning character. Upon triggering assist with Kolita, he will go with Grace, Kolita, and then followed by Butler and also Reina for the highest damage for the assist combo. And finally, as he gets the opportunity to find multiple targets in the same group, he will be casting his ultimate with Grace to deal the highest damage. Now you can notice during the summaries and also the, during the recaps, we were looking at how Chinese players are switching in and also out of characters to tank and also soak incoming damage with other characters. So you want to protect your main DPS character Alan and also Grace, while other characters can be switched in to take additional damage. So coming over to the replay for the second fight. Now let's have a look at the initial startup, which I think is going to be quite important. So he starts with Grace, and uh, starts with Reina, and right away notice the spam of the spells. Right away he uses all the energy on Reina, and then followed by Grace. Kalita also casts, I think, and this allows him to do a quick swap. During this time, you want to be perfect countering, and then switching between characters, so you can be taking away damage on your main character. Even though he was trying to swap, notice that after taking one hit on the Grace, he took one third of his HP as damage. So the enemy is actually hits very very hard. And here, whenever you can, you'll be casting ultimate and dealing damage to multiple targets. The major focus here is to deal the damage onto the elite, because other monsters will be AoE down as you deal damage to them. Using Kalida to trigger the stunning assistant effect allows you to deal more damage and this will also disable the boss. Because you have the butler pet, you gain so much more energy, so it's always advisable to be casting multiple skills whenever you can onto Reina and also Grace. Now Grace here is triggering anomaly damage together with the dis elemental damage having two different elements of characters on the team. And again guys, whenever you can, cast your ultimate, because you get a lot of energy running this particular setup. So the focus of the fight is going to be a little bit more difficult compared to the Adam call, simply because there's no limited mana characters. But knowing that, he can still do pretty decently as long as he times his characters correctly and also switching characters to dodge and also tank up for the main character. Now looking at these fights really makes me want to build a Grace team and I don't have Reina and also Kalita. But in the future guys, I'll be making spotlight video on focusing on building each of those s rank characters. And as you can see, one of the key timing and also avoidance of damage is to dodge and also switch between characters. The enemy is at level 70, and this means each hit they deal to you will be massive, and having a stunning character on each of the teams enable you to stun the enemy, and while they are stunned, you can spam multiple abilities and deal the highest damage. The fight is actually getting pretty close. You can see that his main character Grace is one hit away from dying. And this wasn't easy of course. So he still is using Grace and the perfect timing of dodges and also swap of characters was what saved him over here. Again, having Kalida will help you to trigger additional stun, stun gauges and then finish the enemies off. Now, one thing I do want to highlight as we watch, the, as we watch animation he is constantly switching between characters instead of dodging. One of the reasons you are switching between characters is that if you fail, the other character will take the damage. While you are dodging, if you fail, you will take the damage. You don't want to lose out on a character. So this is actually better to constantly switch between characters over perfect dodging with just one character. This of course can be a little different if you are running Soldier 11, because she can gain additional fire attacks as you perfect dodges. And on the topic of finishing off the fight, we're finally coming to the end of the boss fight. And this was a really, really close fight, as you can see. The perfect dodging together with switching characters was what saved him in the end. And that's the self-summary. 
So congratulations to a Chinese friend who actually becoming the server first to be clearing out this content. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is the rough first, but this is pretty amazing to learn and also to see what's possible in the end game with action pack game like, like Zenith Zone Zero. Now, if you guys are like me and don't have all the characters on the team comp over here and you might not have the items or the disc set, it's okay. And I'll be finding other builds and also other guys that are also clear the end game content. And I'm on the topic of looking into a physical team count that also cleared the full content a day or two later with all S rank on the highest difficulty. So stay tuned for those videos. Now, similar to all the videos, if you want to follow the notes, those will be available in the links below. And if you find my videos helpful and you want to see more future videos for the ZZZ and also other games to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep the notification on for the latest content.